Just days ago, a massive event took place in which Louis Farrakhan, the Nation of Islam minister, spoke to a massive crowd facilitated by Ticketmaster, in which he began speaking to this crowd about how he's not anti-Semitic and never has been. I've never been an anti-Semite. And uh, if I had them in front of me, they could not prove their charge. And then, of course, naturally, he proceeds for the next hour to spout the most deeply anti-Semitic and anti-Jewish vitriol that I've ever really seen, certainly in the last couple decades. Have a look. Now, somebody has to take on the synagogue of Satan, and here we are. But just look at what these people control. Let me see my notes over here. These demons. At every door that leads to power, they have a sentinel on watch. And the stranglehold that Jews have, on this government, a Jewish man said to me, you know, you, we say never again. Never again will we be in an oven. Never again. I said, hold it. You can say that to men, but you can't say that to God. Because the Bible says, behold, the day cometh that shall burn as a what? As an oven. And those who do wickedly. In his speech, Farrakhan defended Hitler, predicted a new holocaust, and he spoke about, quote, the stranglehold that Jews have on this government and claimed that Jewish power is what has all of our people of knowledge and wisdom and talent afraid. <laughs> Nothing anti-Semitic at all there. <laughs> I'm going to post in the description of this video a link where you can see all the various things that he said in this speech. Ticketmaster facilitated this event. They hosted the ticket sales to this event. I've hardly seen any news coverage at all about this story. If, if you have, please comment it in the comment section because it's shocking to me that this has been hardly reported. But here we are, and I want to give you my take on it. The first thing actually that came to mind when I was listening to this man speak and watching all the various clips is number one, he's just so boring. <laughs> and so, it's so vacuous. There's really like just nothing of that much depth or real interest or intrigue to what he's saying. He's just spouting hatred and incoherent babble, to be honest. And it was just like a bit, just a bit boring and it just felt so just childish. And it was even more bizarre seeing the crowd being so like, every time he'd make a comment, he might as well just like breathe in the crowd would be like, oh yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And just like, he could literally just go, I looked at the sky, and it was blue, and they'd be like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just, it's odd, honestly. There seems to be a bit of a cult following. And you know, all of this got me thinking, because in the past, anti-Semitism might have manifested as like a, a religious hatred based on Jews being devil-like or for committing deicide, killing Jesus. In the time of Hitler, it was racial theory, and they tried to build a picture that they're somehow an inferior race. So you had the anti-Semitism of religion, you had the anti-Semitism of race. Today, this just watching this, it just felt like the anti-Semitism of just foolishness and stupidity. <laughs>
I mean, it was just so incoherent. And at least in the past, anti-Semitic leaves would be a, a bit more uh, articulate and coherent in the kind of vision they're trying to create. I mean, this was just like all over the place. And that actually gives me a bit of hope because it's different today. Today, the conspiracy theorists, they, they have so little to, to base what they're saying on if you just shine a little bit of a light. And I don't think we live in an age of such staunch ideology anymore. We're slowly growing past that. We see that even happening in relation to um, you know, Putin invading uh, Ukraine. Um, the world is far more united um, in saying, are we really still going to do this? Are we still that, that, have we not graduated in our, in our maturity as humanity in terms of countries invading other countries? And I feel that actually there's some cause for hope here. This isn't going to be a video about just whining and complaining and saying, why is no one paying more attention to this? And shouldn't we be so worried? I actually think, no, what this man is saying is so vacuous that we should feel confident that the people he was talking to, at least, if we just shine a bit of a light, they can be reasoned with. Because it's just so vacuous what he was saying. And anti-Semitism is so vacuous, really. My view is, therefore, that, especially in, in today's world, where, as I say, anti-Semitism is less ideological, it's more just based on shallow ignorance. My view is that we live in an unprecedented time today because part of the reason anti-Semitism could fester was because the Jews were such a mystery and we were surrounded by ghetto walls and we weren't really that exposed to the wider world and Judaism wasn't really either. But today the ghetto walls have come down we, for the first time in our history, have the ability to actually share who we are and what our beliefs are and our values are and our history is and our culture is and what Judaism really is all about and what the Jewish people are all about. This is the first time we can really share that on a level playing field with the nations of the world. And so far from this being a video saying how we should despair and how this is so troubling and how we should point fingers and worry and write to your uh, members of parliament, of course we need to do the various efforts to protect Jewish security, but I'm saying that because it's an anti-Semitism of ignorance and vacuousness today, part of the answer, a key tenet of the answer, needs to be not so much fighting the anti-Semitism, but creating pro-Semitism. Which means, let's take this opportunity that we have now to stop being such a mystery to the world. The Jews are shrouded in mystery, which is how Louis Farrakhan is able to make these claims because he plays on these mysteries. If we just shine a bit of a light, and that's really what JTV is trying to do, if we can just demystify what we're about, if we just bring people around the table to listen, I'm confident that people will quickly see the vacuousness and the uh, the, the, the shallowness and, and the lies of what Louis Farrakhan's saying, and see not just the, the, that it's untrue, but actually the beauty within Judaism and how Judaism and Jewish values and Jewish wisdom can offer so much light to the world and guidance. And that's ultimately what people are after. They're looking to make sense of the world somehow. Minister Farrakhan, Louis Farrakhan, tries to do that through a hateful, ignorant, possibly even jealous approach. Judaism, and the way we should try to do it, is by bringing light and guidance and wisdom. So that's the message of this video. We can fight anti-Semitism, but the best way of fighting it is not just to fight the darkness, but to shine light and to reveal and show and tell others and be confident and proud to um, our non-Jewish friends about the beauty of Judaism, to share it, because there's a hunger to make sense of the world and we can provide some answers. I'm Molly Annisfeld and you're watching JTV.